Hi everybody, it's Willie from Willie's American Guitars and you are in the acoustic room. Everybody wants to know what's new. That's something that even I, if I didn't own the place, would, would be asking, hey, what's new? And I want to start this with a picture of kerfing. Do you see that right there? That's kerfing. And if you look close, you're going to see the brace tucks under the kerfing. It doesn't match it and meet right up to it. It actually tucks underneath the kerfing. That's an important feature on acoustic guitars. Um, back in the day, that kerfing is kind of hand-built, hand-tucked, and it took quite a while to make it. It meant quite a bit of labor on kerfing. Now, Gibson made a J45 that looks a lot like that Epiphone, which is a J45, and then they also made the Southerner Jumbo. Okay? So this is a 1951 Southerner Jumbo, and this guitar would have all those early features like the tucked bracing. A lot of people ask, what's the difference between the SJ and the J45? Well, besides the fact that it's bound neck, double parallelograms, higher grade of wood, and a little fancier, it really is about the construction and the kerfing and how the bracing is tucked underneath the kerfing or the linings that help keep the top and back on the side. It really um, makes the sound of the guitar much bigger. This is also anything made before 52 will have a tapered headstock. It's a little skinnier here, a little fatter there. In 55 they had another little doodad they added up here, but this is an earlier one. It's just after the time they made these with the only Gibson is good enough banner, a banner SJ, Southerner Jumbo. <laughs> Out of these is a really rich sound. So you're asking what's new? How about a tapered headstock Gibson? You can't find the wood these days like this. The lacquer that they use is not unlike anything they do now. Modern guitars generally will have instead of a filler they'll put kind of like a rubberized coating on there so that it takes less time to make it and then they put lacquer on top. Guitars like this are really old lacquer, no plasticizers and of course the wood comes from trees that are just no longer available. So another thing we just got in, this is a 66 Frontier. Now a Frontier is made in the same factory as Gibson in 66 and it is a maple back instrument. This has some pretty good figuring on it with that walnut back, but this is, for all practical purposes, a dove. And you'll recognize too that this guitar has its square shoulders, this guitar has rounded shoulders. Generally speaking, when you have a square-shouldered Gibson, it is a slightly longer scale length. Short scale, round shouldered. Long scale, short square shouldered. So all your doves and hummingbirds were also slightly longer scale. And with that, get a little more projection. So this is a dove, but it's called a Frontier when they made it by Epiphone. Made in the same factory, same body as they would be on a dove, spruce top, maple back and sides. With the maple you get a big bass response, kind of a scooped out mid-range. And then there is a 64 Texan. Now 64 Texans, any Beatles fan, their ears go up. Mm -hmm because Paul McCartney owned a 64 Texan and famously recorded yesterday and played on the Ed Sullivan show and still has the same guitar that he plays live. Uh, it is a 64 blonde top Texan. With a sunburst top, this is the same thing as a J45. So 64 has the big neck, the, the steeper headstock pitch. This will have all solid wood, mahogany back and sides. And these, like a J45, <laughs> have that nice, bright, crisp. And why do people love J45s? Because they record so well. Every recording you've heard 
uh, popular songwriter recording, well, not everyone, but so many of them are recorded on these mahogany-backed Gibsons. And again, this is slope-shouldered, so it's also a short scale, or standard Gibson scale. Just amazing presence, a big neck, a 1964. When it comes to guitars, it's typically pre-65 is what's going to get it done. And then I'll show this again because these really are hard to come by. Big neck, 50s. Southerner Jumbo. Ow. All right, that's all for now, but that's what's new here at Willie's. See you soon.